Mm. I want to say my ideas about religion. Religion is undoubtedly linked with mortality salience. And mortality salience is the uh, knowledge that someday you will die. <coughs> Humans have this unique disability. But when I'm not going to be here forever, then why should I be here now? And how am I here now? And what am I? <coughs> That's the three questions that humans ask themselves. The what, the how, the why. And how should I live? And religion has given people the an answer to these questions or seemingly given has seem has seemingly given answers to these questions but the truth is that it's a uh, deception and a way of gaining a false sense of comfort to be religious is to believe in fairy tales <coughs> is to deceive oneself and it is very hard to be religious without uh, being born into it religion is about power those who control the religion controls the people the people. Religion is about uh, cul culture, conduit. That's the how. Religion is about them and us. Religion is about group. Group dy dynamics and group mentality and group identity. Personally, I think that religion is was the is nature's way of. <coughs> Uh, of making people able to live even though they had mortality salience. <coughs> I think religion is the natural way to overcome the knowledge of one's destiny and Ignorance uh, and lonely loneliness. So <coughs> religion is 
a collective uh, this collective uh, uh, delusion yeah so what is a person without a religion a person without a religion doesn't have a how doesn't have a why doesn't have a what so a, a person without a religion is empty in these questions regarding these questions a person without a religion can get a sense of uh, voidness inside A person without a religion doesn't know why and a person without a religion who thinks about why is looking at the uh, is looking at a black pit ready to swallow them <coughs> a person without a religion looks into the blackness of life straight at it A person without a religion is, incl is inclined to be depressive upon gazing on, on the void. A person without a religion is only a person without a religion is susceptible to fall into the abyss. What is the abyss? The abyss is the picture of one flying in space or having been dropped somewhere somehow without knowing how or why and falling falling down so there is a gravity but when you look down to see where you are falling to or when you will hit bottom then you realize that there is no bottom you just keep falling Falling. Mm. And <coughs> that's one way. That's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is. to be looking with the eyes open but the only thing you see is blackness it's cold it's entropic it 
there's anything in the this, then it doesn't move, it can't move. It's frozen, it's timeless. It's actually not timeless, but time is moving slow. Slowly. <coughs> that step is to feel the blackness rather than the light. <coughs> The only way you can to overcome this there are two things one can do. The first option is to look away. But once you look long enough you can no longer look away. When you look long enough into the abyss, the abyss also looks into you. The other option is to look into the abyss. Seeing the blackness of everything and not to care. <coughs> once once one is able to Look into the blackness. Avoid kid. Seeing nothing. Being frozen inside. Complete and utterly unmotivated. Then the question is irrelevant. Like all other questions. One can just do anything, but it's in humans' uh, nature to do something. It's not in our nature to do nothing. Therefore, you can just do something just because you want to do it. And when you look, you're flying, when you're dropped off in space and pulled to some gravitational place and you look down, you're not afraid anymore. And you know you're falling whether you look or not all the time, so when you think that when you realize you're falling from time to time, then you don't care about it. It's not scary. Scary, there's nothing to be frightened about by it. Because you know you were falling the whole time anyway. since your inception. <coughs> you were falling all the time and you didn't look down and it was dark and damp all the time but you didn't open your eyes. Once one internalizes this then one is free Free from the why. The how. It's just what you want. It's tautological. I want this because I want this. I want to live because I want to live. I want to eat because I want to eat. I want to work because I want to work. I want to find love because I want to find love.
my subjective reality is the only basis for making decision. I want to endure pain because I want to endure pain. I want to sleep because I want to sleep. I want to get drunk because I want to get drunk. I want to see my friend because I want to see my friend. The world becomes very simple. What? What am I? Once one looks into the abyss, one realizes that one is uh, an ephemeral consciousness. Nothing more, nothing less. And everyone else is an ephemeral from our consciousness and the universe is just ephemeral the sun is ephemeral so what you want to do is dependent on you dependent on you. What world do you live in? It's dependent on you. Do you want to see the world as an evil an evil place? A good place? Or an indifferent place? to be